Today we're getting together at my sister's house. We usually try to do family gatherings once a month. Where we always get there, we give each other hugs and kisses and greet each other with love. There's so much going on. There's like kids running around, dogs, bickering. We go through all the motions. Talking about memories from back in the day when we were younger to the, what the kids are doing now. Reminiscing, tears, <laughs> talking. <laughs> it's like a circus. When everybody's cooking, I usually just mind my own business and like just lay down and wait till the food's ready. Sister! Yes. Sister! Yes. What are you cooking? Everybody's favorite plate. But you're not gonna get some unless you come and help. Ah, oh, no, no, thank you. No, 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 no. It's our time off. No, first part. of all, you already know the, the deal. Like, we never do nothing. I don't ever help out in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Like, if my mom and Bertha are in the kitchen and they're like really putting their foot in it, why would I want to go in there and interrupt? We're not cooks. Me, Lily, Eileen, nope. Mind our own business. Watch our Insta story. Yeah, just watch them cook. Hurry up, like hurry them up. We're hungry, hurry. Today is, we're all gonna pitch in. All the so get your little butter. No, no, no. no. Come on. Go, Eileen. I, I have something special. Okay, it's we'll go right now. now. Okay, we'll and go in a little bit fine. Fines, we'll be there right now. Bertha, we call her Mama Bee. She's like the second mom of the family. So when Bertha says, come over here and help, it's like, okay, let's go help. Like, it's annoying, but it's like, okay, if Mama Bee says it, then we have to do it. We're gonna make homemade handmade tortillas. <laughs> no, that's your job. Hell no. Imagine. Throw it. Today we had to cook and I don't think any of us were excited for that because we never do that and all of a sudden they wanted us to cook like wine. Really seriously. I'm just checking my hair. Shred the chicken and then put it in here. Okay? Wait, with our fingers? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's called shredding the chicken. Shred the chicken. Okay, I like chicken, but like why would I shred it? <laughs> right, like what's mm. the point? It's gross. Hey, she made us do the chicken, that's gross, right? Low key a little bit, yeah. Yeah, no. That was in our thing. Ma, cuando pases descanso, yo quiero saber cómo hacen. Cuando pases descanso, usted. Cuando Dios se la lleve. I always saw her before she passes descanso. Before she goes to the, to the heavens. To the heavens, I need to know that race just because if we don't, then we're all going to be effed for the rest of our life. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what she does. Simple. And it's simple. simple. She's Okay, it's done. There, and I'm like. Yeah, go look, and then you actually get out of here and go look at the rice. No, because no. Uh, no, me and me and sister got it figured out. Okay, come and look at my. Go, Eileen, go get the secret rice recipe. Lily, you look so awkward doing that. You know what, Mundo? Do you want to come do it? Why don't you just use your Twitter fingers <laughs> and shred the chicken? I do have Twitter rice. fingers. Ali, you better learn how to get that. That's a secret recipe, my mom's rice. Not everybody can make it. She like actually don't, doesn't share her secrets to anybody. Oh, nobody, Ali. You are getting privileged right now. Lily, you look dangerous with that knife. It's not an apple, it's an onion. <laughs> no, Mira, you know what? You guys, if you guys live with me, you'd be like, damn, she's good. Yeah, wow. We've <laughs> already said that. Mira, I'm gonna cook the onion so bomb right now. You're gonna be like, I want her to cut onion every single time we eat. Yo, no! <laughs> as long as you don't cut your fingers, we're good. He's doing a great job over here, actually. Hey, we're making you guys look bad over here right now. I'm telling you. Damn, babe, you're turning me on. <laughs> Ew! What the <laughs> cheating? The way you grab it? Ew, Dad! That's... I know. Sister! Yes, sister. So, I saw a picture of Chatito. Of Armando? As a date. On a date? Yes. How do you feel about that? Look, she's gonna start getting mad. She's gonna start getting mad. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, he looks so cute and grown and handsome. And Ew, that's and disgusting. Give me that. Oh. Armando went on a date on his first date, but I don't know if Armando's ready to date. How do you I mean, know? how old were you when you started dating, Armando? 12? No, like, let's see. How old were you when you started no, dating? No, like, no. when you went on a real date. Thanks to my mom, I started dating at 18. <laughs> She's like, yeah. You see, mom? He started no, dating at 18. I wanted to date at 13, but. <laughs> my mom wasn't letting you? My mom was. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> mom, you Why? see? No, oh my god, my answer. There was my answers, okay? Now we know who you get it from. Armando's my only son, and Mundo is her only son, and she didn't let him date till 18. So 
So I'm not in the wrong if I'm questioning my son dating because Mundo didn't date till he was 18, thanks to my mother. And that turned out all right. And he turned out all right, you see? I like women. He has like five kids now, but it's okay. Alex got married at 18 and Mundo dated at 18. When, when, did, you, when did you start dating, Ricky? When was your first date? Uh -oh. We're talking about Armando's no, date here, right? No, we're talking about you right now. You want to know? Um, well, look at the cheese. When he was 13? No, what was your first date? Like you went out on a I date with I was 21 a... already. You that was wow. with me. Wow. Wow. That was wow. 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 Hey, and then you met her, huh? That's what I thought. Then... <laughs> yeah. She went on a motorcycle ride with my dad, and that was her first date. That is hella romantic. I thought you were single. 16, like you, Ellie. And the segurito was very moto, my jefe, verdad? No, eso sí, no sé. Take a picture. So I was gonna ask you if you can help me do a uh, Instagram picture Friday. So let's call her. Let's do it. Aline, come over here. Every time there's good lighting, of course it's a good opportunity to take a picture. Since your, your Tio Mundo is really good at Instagram social media stuff, mm -hmm. you see how he blogs his little things. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see if he can help me out and do a picture for you. So uh, how are you? Are you down? Yeah, I'm down. All right, let's do this. Get creative, all right? Okay, let's do it. Why don't we just have you just ride that bull over there? No, it's not a bull, <laughs> that's a goat. Go get it, Ramon. Go get it, and then we'll do, we'll do a picture. Oh my God. Man, this thing is heavier than what I thought. <laughs> okay, so now you're gonna hold okay. that to No, but flip it over. Flip it over. Oh my God, this is heavy. Okay. Hold it right here. Wait, how the heck am I You're gonna pose on it, Ramon. You're gonna, you, me? Yeah, you pose with I her. I it was gonna be her. No, both you got you and her pose, right? Uh -huh. How about, how about if we hold it and Go, get creative, and I take the picture. Here, Hannah, put it in there. No, get creative. This is not a okay, how? picture. How? No, you pose it in and then you two can hold the gold or do something. Or do something with All right, ready? I'm gonna get the shot. And not gonna lie, but the gold works. It's a good gold. <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously, like always, it come, came out and she just took the phone. Yeah, you have to come a little bit forward. Let me fix your hair a little bit. No, you have to get closer to the gold. There you go, like that. I always feel the need to like take over when my sister is taking pictures of Eileen because I just feel like she doesn't have the eye for it sometimes. And she's just like randomly taking pictures to see if it works. This one's actually a really cool picture. I told you, I One. told you, you guys don't understand how I get so creative with these things. First of all, it's not. it wasn't your idea. I bet yes, you. it was. Look at how bomb that one is. Oh, that's cute. What the Wait, why are you saying that that wasn't my idea if you just walked out on my idea, Lily? Because you're not creative. <laughs> oh, I'm not creative? And you just said that the picture is bomb? You should see the other ones I took. No, because the way I like positioned it, it was like posed like this. That's, mm. You should post it. Show your mom so she knows how bomb I did. Let me see. This was but it was cool good. One. Okay, well, the goal was cool prop. No, but I got a closer one. Yeah, you guys are it wasn't always you doing that this to it was me. Her. It's like I'm the one that creates these ideas, mm -hmm. and then you guys just totally like, oh, that doesn't work, and then you guys come back and then redo it, That's and it true. works. Totally wrong with it. I was actually surprised because, to be honest with you, I was like, girl, it's not that big of a deal. Like I do this all the time, but maybe I've done it so much that this time she's like, okay, I'm over it. Like you, that was rude. You have a, a, a photo shoot coming up, which is super cool. She's launching her first um, collaboration with Lashes Brother. Ooh. I don't know if you're aware. Ooh. So we have an upcoming photo shoot and I have so many crazy ideas. Like I know a goat is like, woo, way out there. Yeah. But let me tell you, I have some other ideas and we can make this happen. But it's gonna look amazing. I don't know. I feel like it's I too mean, like, much. What are you even like talking about? But I can do some creative looks with makeup. I can do some creative looks okay, with hair. Okay, but here's the thing. We can find no, no, locations no, 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 that no, no, are- No, 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 Here's the thing that when it comes to eyelashes, you can't go over the top because when exactly. I'm shooting the eyelashes. It doesn't matter, but you still have to look good from head to toe. Okay. If we don't get creative, how are we gonna show this like amazing photo shoot? No. This is like, no, it's just eyes. It's just eyes. Like we don't need a whole last outfit change. We don't need our hair done. We just need bomb makeup, full coverage, bomb eyeshadow lashes, and that's it. That's it. That's gonna be boring, sister. And I, honestly, you guys are literally like frustrating me right now. And I honestly, 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to go help you guys with this because this is getting frustrating. It's just annoying that every time I come up with an idea, you guys literally shut me off. Like it's very upsetting to me right now. Every time I have ideas, I visualize it. And it just got so annoying that she just shut me off like that without even thinking of like, without even saying like, let me think about it. No, immediately. If you guys really think that you guys can handle this, then go ahead and do it because I honestly don't feel like doing it. Like I really wanna give you guys some creativeness so and you guys. Dramatic. Yeah, you're so sensitive. It really upsets me that they don't respect, you know, my vision as an artist. Like I have ideas and they sometimes they might sound crazy, but they're they're cool. Well fine, if you don't wanna go then I mean we can't force you, like Hey Ben, we got it. Oh, we got it. Alright, bye. I'm gonna go inside. She is usually there to like manage the whole thing, like direct everything. And like not having her there would like is weird. We need her there. I don't need my sister there. I can do better and like I can do just as fine without her. Fine. With or without you, it's gonna get done. We do have a date scheduled or pending with the Lash Girls and they're gonna show us the reveal, the lashes and everything. But you know what? I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna teach them a lesson. Hey, mija, I have a question for you. <laughs> Regarding your last post. Oh, Who is that? Which one? That shadow behind you. The mysterious boy? That mysterious body behind you that I cannot see his face. Can you please give me some explanations before I hit like? Before I hit like. <laughs> <laughs> he said before he hit like. Mom, you cheat like my daughter. Yes, yeah, true. You know, so yeah. I want to know. Mm, that's my boyfriend. She has a boyfriend now. You're kidding me. Why would I post a picture of a guy grabbing my back and him being random? You're kidding me, right? Eileen's uncles are very overprotective. She was her firstborn niece, so she's like their little princess. And it is weird for them to know that Eileen's in a relationship or that Eileen has a boyfriend and he, she's very, being very mysterious because they haven't met Ruben. Does your father know about that? Uh -huh. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> You're the second person to ask that question. I feel like they still see me as like a little girl. They don't really know like what I like go through on a daily basis. So it's like more difficult for them to like comprehend that like I'm growing up. Eileen is officially dating Funko. I don't know if you were aware. Did, did you? Trying not to be aware. So you didn't know the like button either? They didn't know no milk? I don't think anybody knew. Damn. I, need, I need to see a, a background check on him first before we approve. We need to see who is he, first of all, because I don't, I've never seen a picture of him. If, like, we were having the same discussion and I would have to bring Ruben into it, I would feel so bad for him. Like, okay. truly, I would same. feel so bad for him. Same. Well, the thing is that I think Eileen is old enough to date. She's 16 years old, it's like we were talking about earlier, and Ruben is actually a really cool guy, Mundo. Old enough? Yeah. Remember we were talking about dating? Old enough yep. to have friends. I don't know about dating, right? He's my brother, you know, so he's a father figure and he's just gonna be like that overprotective. And Celine is the firstborn. Of course he's gonna be like that with her. Hey, Y más que nada, cuidarte y portarte bien para que tus papás te tengan confianza de dejarte salir. Just hearing my grandma's like advice, it's special to me because I respect her like opinion. I respect everything she says. So it's very important for her to tell me things because it helps me grow. You know, you have a great family to be able to compare your relationship to. So you have a great dad. So first of all, you have to compare every man that comes into your life to your father. Your dad's a great dad. So my advice to you is, he's gotta be just as good or even better than your dad. You have uncles, so you gotta tell him he's got uncles he's gotta I meet. know, I forgot that I have like three dads. <laughs> literally. <laughs> well, you got reminded today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally. She is growing up, Carnal, and I know that you have a little girl too, so when you least expect it, she'll be this grown young lady, and Rick and I trust Eileen. Plus she's doing so many cool things, and I don't know if you guys are aware, but Eileen is launching her 
eyelash line. What do you guys think about that? Isn't that pretty cool? You're an entrepreneur. We're very proud of you. Mm -hmm. And of course, we do a lot of, um, you know, we work with companies with clothing lines, and you know, we still follow her Instagram feed and do all kind, all kinds of cool stuff. I think I deserve to have a boyfriend. See, she does. She deserves to have a boyfriend. She's a good girl. I think deserves to have a boyfriend too. Because I it's have like a relationship. A I have school. I have work. I have so many things, and I. Still, and I have good grades. Well, we're very proud of you. You know, you've been doing a good job, and we just can't wait to see what the future has for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. You remind me of my dad. Squirrel. Oh. I was gonna say like. <laughs> <laughs> you literally heard my dad talk right now. He has like my dad's personality, and when I'm feeling really down. I know that I could always call my brother and he has a way of like talking to me that his, even like literally my dad's voice comes through him and he always makes me feel good. It's my family, <laughs> you know? Thank you guys for the food. Thank you, mom. Thank you, sister. It's delicious. It's guys. really good. Is it important to have days like you guys had today? It is important because my mom's getting old. I just don't want to miss. I don't want to miss important moments with my mom. Yeah. Okay, who's um, who's uh, house for dinner next? My house. And she says that when she sees all her kids together, it makes her happy. And Lena, so remember when we went to the cat cafe? Yes. And do you remember that one thing that dad and I asked you is to mature? to do mature things. And what are mature things? Tell me about the mature things that we asked you he to do. He wants to get this one. You made, me, you made me make you a sandwich. You made me make myself a sandwich. Maturing things is making me sandwiches. Okay, what else? <laughs> All I have. No. And then, <laughs> how about picking up after yourself? Have you been Just, doing that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, makes, what is that? Well, she's, she, Check she, it she does very good when she's with Ita and Franco. Okay, I'm okay. gonna... Okay. Um, <laughs> I can't remember if it's a boy or a girl. Ooh, it's a girl. Guys, ooh, <laughs> this is your new mommy. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Britt and Alex decided to surprise Alina with a guinea pig, and um, it was really cool because all the kids were around there watching her, and like she was happy. She's your pet now, Mamacita. It's a guinea pig. It's yours. A guinea pig? Oh, <laughs> she said it does not look like a pig. What do you want to call her? Mitten. Mittens! Cute! Oh, we call her Ratoncita, but it's Mittens. <laughs> you like her? You're welcome. So this is just a little stepping stone, Mamacita. As you get older, maybe we'll think about a cat, but for now, I think Mittens is perfect for us. Thank you, Tita. Thank you, Papa. Aww. You want to cry? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be like mom. Overall, today it was a good evening even though Lily got on my nerves, but you know, it always happens. We're not perfect and we always go through this stuff and you know, it's gonna be okay. I'm happy it all happened. I value like my family more than everything. Like I will put like my family before everything. So it was nice having them all together and I prefer hanging out them than my own friends, so. True, no, no shade. <laughs> Dude, low key, like I'm kinda nervous. I feel like I need her here. A little bit, huh? Oh, well, it's right, whatever. Go you know what? Without her. Lord, please send me my sister's skin. Yeah, okay. I start feeling nervous, like for real, for real, because, oh my god, like my sister's not here. 